Good afternoon, Alves. We've got not a good story for you. Mr. Tiggs has hurt his paw and he can't put it down. Now, now, it was poisoned, it had a big lump on it, but I have managed to drain it all out, clean it, um, and thankfully it's not infected. I've been putting honey and bathing it with all my holistic solutions and I've been giving a wee bit of turmeric or turmeric in his dinner because that's good for as an anti-inflammatory and an antibacterial. So as you can see he is managing to wash his face with it now. He wasn't even able to do that. But I do believe at first I thought I've got a lot of these false widow spiders up here and I was worried that maybe one of them had got them. But now I see what it's been. He's been out fighting with his girlfriend because I saw him again chasing her off, limping. Mr. Tiggs, I mean, I'll show you it. I'll show you I've clipped it all and it's still sore though. I've clipped it all. See it? And I'll zoom it in. I have clipped it all and bathed it all so it's it's actually been a bite um but anyway the poison's all out of it he'll survive another day oh mr tiggs you've had to fight with your girlfriend or your ex-girlfriend i think he's over her now he doesn't even want her coming in the garden but oh my goodness i'll tell you this i'll need to try and film her other day she gives us good back she is ferocious, isn't, isn't she? Yes. Right, so that's the story with Mr. Tick. So we'll keep an eye on that. He's still limping a bit with it. But, oh, his paw had actually, it's swollen up to about twice the size, maybe even more. So, infection's gone. It's just, I think it's still just a bit sore yet. But he's managing to put a bit of weight on it, so that's a good thing, see it? He can actually wash his face with his other paw and support himself with it, so that's a good sign. Right, so we'll let him go on with his cleaning. Mr. Tiggs, what are we going to do with you? Right, and there's another two. <laughs> there they are, waiting patiently. Here's Big Dars. And wee Malik. They're having a wee afternoon siesta. Wee Malik's got a new ball. I'll show you this. And he's been playing with it. I should have videoed that earlier, actually. Right, wait till I just swap hands here, Alfs, for this to show you this ball. There it is. Watch this, Malik. Watch this. Gosh. Right. Right, so he's quite happy with that. He's been playing with it, haven't you? Yes, and he's a good boy, aren't you? And you want to get your ball? He might be 14, but he still likes a new ball, you know. What do you think? <laughs> Can you sit? Let's see if I give her a paw. Can you give me a wee paw? Good boys. Ready? And as you can see, Dars is not one bit... She's not one bit ball... bothered. For such a word. But Malik likes a wee play with it, don't you, son? Right, it's a wee bit overcast. Still nice, but... What do you think, Dars? What do you think of the weather? She's like, hmm, it's no bad. A lot of bees about for me, she's saying. Right, so I'll try and show you Mr. Pig's coming down, look. Come on, Mr. I actually put that box there to stop him jumping because he was going inside it but now he is going on top of it look you can't get down to him come on we misters come on we misters see him still hurting him aye i thought that box was a good idea he was sitting inside it to stop him jumping on the chairs and but now he's decided to jump in the box as mr tix does 
I think you can see it. See, it must be still hurting a bit. Right, so I'm going to keep an eye on that. But, oh, it's a lot better than what it was. Right, we Malik, sorry, he's been waiting on this. There you go. <laughs> That's him quite happy. Got a wee wind getting up. Oh, Darcy's is on the scent of something. What is it, Darcy? There is a wee wind getting up, and I think it's going to maybe rain. Right, Mr. Tiggs, you stick it, you stay in. This is where this his ex comes from, over here. And do you know what he does? He hides in there, that's why Darcy's sniffing in there. This is his den in here. See right in there. Look at that, uh, Malik, you trying to put the ball in there. Malik, don't put the ball in there. Right, so look, you can see him. He's not walking very good. But we'll keep an eye on him. And we'll treat him accordingly. What do you think, Dars? Uh, Malik? Did you see that bad cat attacking Mr. Tiggs? So you would chase it off, son. You not to hurt it, you just to chase it. Because we're still animal loving folks. Uh, Malik loves to go under here for some reason and he wraps this clematis all round him. He has a great time with it. That's what he likes doing. And there's Darcy, she likes to drink out of this dirty, all the water she's got. Look, and she drinks out of that. That's what she's up to. Do you see this? Don't know what she sees up there. Right, so anyway, that's the update for today. Mr. Tiggs has hurt his paw. Maliki's got a new ball. And Darcy's just been her usual Darcy dog. Good wish, Walt. Okay, Alice, we hope you are all well and good, and we're sending all our love as always. And we shall see you again very soon. Oh, there he's back. See, look at the way he holds it. Mr. Tiggs, I think you'd better come in and rest your paw. He's relentless, this cat. See, before he was neutered and he used to go up to that village, honestly. He would come back with bits of ear missing, his tail, he's, he's a bit older now. But I don't know if he's that much wiser. <laughs> We're talking about you, Mr. Tiggs. Oh, look at him. Look at him. Right. I'm going to give him a wee cuddle up. He likes that. <laughs> Malik, can you not fix Mr. Tiggs? <laughs> Come on. Come on. He just seen Mr. Tiggs getting a pet, so he says I'm in for one of those two. Right. Far off. Do you know?